being pro-life and being against homosexuality don't make you a Christian. It's campaigning season. A black lady, a woman of color, is running for president. The conservatives don't like it. The black conservative preachers and Christians don't like her. They are campaigning for Trump. The conservatives always have used those two issues as campaigning tools. They themselves are guilty of abortions. They have homosexuality in their families. People lie. People hide behind lies. People call themselves Christians. That don't mean that they not subject to telling lies. They do it. The Bible tells us to don't put our faith in no man. Man will deceive you. The Republicans always want to play the holy card when their closets are full of skeletons. In the last recent years, a lot of them have been uncovered. doing exactly what they are against. But they always want to paint the Democrats as being wicked and ungodly, which, you know, But you can't take two issues and use that to say, y'all, you holy. You're doing the work of God when you ignore all the other laws and commandments God gave. If you not if you don't hold to all the commandments in the laws that God gave, then you're not a Christian. The conservatives love to play that game. The conservative Christians love to play that game. They love to pretend to be so holy, but they only want to focus on like two issues abortion issue and homosexuality issues we're against homosexuality we're against abortions you got to be against everything that God is against if you want to play that card you got, to, you got to look at all the Ten Commandments and all the things that God is against. You got to hold to all of that. You can't play them too. You can't play that card on the Democrats. You want to hold, you want to put them two issues on the Democrats. Did the Bible stop right there? What did God say about a 
adultery, stealing, lying, greed, extortion, deceit, uh, bits of ra fits of rage, pride, selfishness. Arrogance. The, the conservatives love to play their game. They love to play with God. The Democrats play with God. The conservatives play with God too. But they always want to pretend to be the holiest when they support sin. <laughs> they just try to cover. They got skeletons in their closet. Conservatives. Have abortions. Conservatives. Are homosexual. Are into homosexuality. In their family. They try to hide a lot of stuff. A lot of their children go out and help babies out of Whitlock. <laughs> a lot of them go out and, and pay for abortions. But yet they'll come out and say they're against it. They're against this. It's this the world we live in. That's why the Bible says don't trust nobody. Don't trust man. Man will lie. Man late. Man will let you down. You put your faith in man. It lets you down. Put your faith in no preacher. Conservative love to play their card. You go out of Florida. We see billboards at the billboards at the billboards talking about abortion, which is good. God's pro life, and that's all you see. Billboards about abortion and God. God just that's all you see in Florida now. But. You don't see nothing about the Ten, the Ten Commandments. <laughs> Abortion is under murder. Killing. What about the rest of the Ten Commandments that God gave? You don't see that. Florida is a haven for thieves. Rich thieves. You watch American Greed, stuff like that. When people get in trouble in other states, they go to Florida, hide out in Florida. Florida don't have uh, laws. You know, you can hide from the law in Florida. If you got money, that's, the way, that's what a lot of them do. It's tradition. They, Florida don't pretty much, you know, but you got to have money. So, if you go by the billboards they have in Florida, you would think that's a holy state. But it's a safe haven for rich criminals. And we can see this. <laughs> they run to Florida to keep them being prosecuted. But they holy now. They got them billboards <laughs> talking about abortions. And what God hate, and what God love, but God gave a bunch of commandments. He didn't stop there. He hates stealing. He hates sin. They don't talk about that. The conservative preachers won't talk about the sins of the conservatives, the sins of the God they support him. They hide and cover him.
You vote for a Democrat, you vote for their platform, God is going to get you. The world, y'all, we can say goodbye to our country. The Bible already said the world is condemned. If you were really right and righteous, you'll be telling people not to vote at all. But yet, people like Dunn and Swag would stand up and say, it's a sin not to vote. Ain't nowhere in the Bible. The Bible says a sin not to vote. But this is what they do. They hide behind the seat. They're greedy. They don't talk about the rest of the sins in the Bible. Adultery. In the Old Testament, if you had a child, if you step, if you had an affair on your spouse and had a child with a girlfriend or a woman or somebody, the Bible talks negative, talk negative about that child. So we can't, they can't, y'all can't pretend to be holy when it comes to two issues. You want to isolate a couple of issues and use them. But when it comes to the other laws that God gave and commandments, y'all ignore that because it don't make y'all look good. It don't make y'all, you can't. Use that to your benefit. Your guy, y'all support Donald Trump is guilty of breaking them laws more over. Y'all want to cover him. You want to cover him. His, his platform, Donald Trump, wants to do a lot of wicked stuff in the office. We got a taste of this a few years ago. He had a lot of wicked stuff he would like to do. Yeah. But they only want to talk about the Democrats. Being pro-life and being against homosexuality don't make you holy. Conservative preachers don't tell their people how dangerous it is to be pledged to a flag. Christians don't pledge to nobody or nothing but God. Your faith is not in no flag. Your faith is not in reciting something that somebody wrote that ain't been in the Bible. How can y'all claim to be God-fearing folk but you put your faith in a piece of cloth material, whatever the flag's made out of? You stand up, cross your heart, pledging allegiance. People who don't do that, that don't mean they don't love their country. It just means that they, they got real faith. Christians don't pledge to nothing. You don't pledge to no Masons. You don't pledge to no Eastern Stars. You don't pledge to no sor college sororities and fraternities. You don't pledge to any other organizations. You pledge to God only. You can't have faith. All your faith supposed to be in God, but you're giving something to a flag. A flag can't save you. Your ain't no salvation in no flag. The world, this world and earth is, the world is condemned. When people stand up and speak against pledge and leap, then they want to deem people being unpatriotic and all this, don't love the country. But that very guy that y'all support, he dodged the draft, talk ill about soldiers. 
talk very negative about the late John McCain. He talked negative about those who sacrificed their lives. But what did he do? He dodged the military. He dodged the draft four or five times. But yet, they support him. They support a Dutcher. Look at what they support in Trump. Look at what look at the scene that they are supporting. 